Well, music means a lot to different people. It has also been described as the language of the soul. And at the 36th Choir Festival of the St. Jude's Anglican Church, enthusiasts say music has also proved to be an effective tool of communication. We have details in this report. Sundays for most Christians are set aside to be the Lord's Day. What better time to be closer to God than to be serenaded by hymns and classical music? Known as the art-styled music, rooted in the traditions of Western culture, Mamaba Mishebi is one of those devout Christians that enjoy classical music. Married for 57 years to a teacher in the Sunday school classes in Anglican Church, she explains how music remains a tool of effective communication between her and her husband. Uh, the musicians then sang uh, meaningful songs that uh, will take you near to your God. Music opens doors to happiness. And when you sing, you feel nearer to your God. There are sermons in stones. There are books in brooks. So music had got in very many meanings. And it's only universal language. For some young people, this kind of music may sound boring, but for this enthusiast of music, classical music has its own endearing nature. Classical music is deep. Hymns is very deep. And uh, some people will say, well, those music are Haitian. Well, as ancient as they are, or as ancient as they may be, they, they are still relevant even in this contemporary time. A laments the scarcity of hymns in schools as was the norm years ago. A lot of people will sing hymns committed to memory some 20, 30 years ago. They will sing praise to the Lord, the Almighty. They will sing praise my soul, the King of heaven. They will sing now thank we all our God. That in itself will shape the kind of human beings or the kind of individuals will become. <laughs> Music, in whatever form, still is a way of expression for the world. Sarah Yeku, TVC News, Lagos.